Hey everyone, this is Master King JC. It's a little segment I'm just trying to start doing where I'm gonna be, you know, giving like a little review on manga chapters. And the first I'm gonna start with is One Piece chapter 587. I already read it, so let's see. So currently, right now, we're in the Ace. Right now, right, right now currently, right now, currently, we are in Luffy's flashback of you know when he and Ace were kids, and you know they just sell more stuff and all stuff, and a whole bunch of stuff happens. So you read this for you, ain't know what happens. So there's a fire. In Trash Mountain, it is burned as shit. Everything's gonna get burned to hell. And Luffy and Ace are stuck in the middle of it. Sabo's like trying to save him, you know, tell him to run. But then he bumps into Dragon! Oh shit! Dragon! Out of nowhere! And then, are you reading the chapter? Blue Jam, who made a deal with the nobles, in order to become a noble himself, he was going to burn down Trash Mountain. He used Luffy and Ace to do it. So, after that shit happens, uh, duh, they trick his ass, and he's stuck in there waiting to burn. So, <laughs> that's what you get for being a dumbass, Blue Jam. So, and also, the, the, the people living in Trash Mountain, what happens next? Explosion happens, and a path is opened up through the fire laid to this beach, and right there's a ship. And on a ship, and even called Akuma, which is not surprised because you read this far, you know that Akuma was an ally of even calling and most likely a member of the Revolutionary Army. So they, so Dragon gets all the people on the ship to get them out of there, and then Luffy and Ace write a Blue Jam, and Blue Jam is trying to, is trying not to make them escape. It's like, you know, if we gonna die, we all gonna die. And before they die, he wants to know where the treasure is that they that they stole from him. I'm like, okay, dude, you're about to die, and you're worried about fucking treasure? Well, you're using it for five seconds, be like, ooh, treasure, burn! Oh, damn it, that's a waste of time. And then, and then they get Luffy and Ace and hold them down. And they're trying to get away, but Luffy gets injured by some random guy no one cares about. And Ace is like, no Luffy, and then late and then Ace busts this out. Hashiko Haki. And it was like, oh shit, Ace has Haki. And we did not know that yet. Although I think I remember during the war when Luffy used his Haki to knock out the guards, Ace was like, you too? So that may have been a little hint that Ace may. Ace remembers doing it in the past. So after that, Blue Jam's like on his way to kill them, and then the Dom pops out of nowhere and block and pushes him back. And all the other Mount Bandits are there. And then just as they got there, about to run away, but it's like, I will not run. And I was like, are you fucking crazy? Like, what's coming out of your mouth, Ace? And, and they're all like, and. Now Ben and the Dawn decides to stay there with Ace to fight Blue Jam. And the rest of Mount Bands take Luffy and get the fuck out of there. So then afterwards, we do not know what happened during the fight because over the short of fight, he cuts away to the day after. And he says, Ace and the Dawn did not return. Like, what? And then we cut to the day after Sabo, he's back with his father again. That's Deli, the weird looking from So he's back with he's back at his parents' house. He's like, What is it like to be free? He's like, Oh, I'm so I'm stuck here in this house. Uh, I wanna be out there with you, Luffy and Ace. How are you doing? I miss you guys. And I'm thinking and his father boarded up the window to keep him from getting out. His father says it doesn't matter how many times you run away, I will always come back and get you. So, so you think that, oh man, he's probably going to be stuck there for good. But then, the next page is the day of the arrival of the Tenryo B2. Bito, 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 whatever. Yeah, it's the day of their arrival, they're about to come from sea, then there's this boat out there. And like, it, was, it was like, what the hell, why is this boat out there? And, like, and they noticed that there's a kid on there. Not, and that kid probably already realized that the kid is Sabo. 
and Salvo set out to sea. He's going on an adventure on the sea. He just set out. I don't know how the fuck happened. I don't know what the fuck happened. Next page, he's locked him in his room. And now the next, he's fucking about to go out to sea. In a boat, which I don't know where the fuck he got the boat from. So hopefully Oda will explain that in that next chapter and what the, what the hell happened. I'm lost. But still, Sabo just left south to sea in a boat that he just got out of nowhere the next day. So we don't know. So that's the end of the chapter. We don't know what's gonna happen next. Maybe he's gonna run into the Tenryu Bito and he's just gonna hit the fan. Or maybe he's gonna escape and sell to sea and go on many adventures. But. He's most likely probably gonna run to Ten Ryo Beto and then the shit is gonna hit the fan and gonna be spraying everywhere. So Yep, that's the chapter man. It's, it's awesome, I liked it. You know, hopefully this flashback thing will be over in one in next chapter or two more chapters, because you know I wanna get some, I wanna see some action again. I mean we got a little action in the flashbacks, but I wanna see some current Action, you know what's going on, and hopefully, I hope Sabo's maybe still alive. You know, he's dead, and I don't know what to say, but he may be alive, but we don't know yet. We have to watch and see what happens. So, Master King JC, sign out, sign off. Yeah, yeah, they all work hard. Okay, I made a mistake, right? Sign off. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs>